Naja Hao, my name is Garrick, and welcome back to Taiwan Laowai. So, something I have not yet done since coming to Taiwan is go to the beach. And I want to go to the beach. So we're going to the beach. Admittedly, it's not perfect beach weather today. It's pretty cloudy. There's a chance of rain. Uh, but there's been a chance of rain all week, and it has not rained yet. So I am taking the forecast with a grain of salt. I am acting on my impulse. We are going to get some beach time in today. So the beach we're going to, insert name here in post, uh, is on the western edge of Taiwan, which is actually pretty close to where I am because Taiwan is sort of like on the northwest corner, or at least very close to it. But it's still a bit of a hike to get there. And the first leg of that journey is we need to bike over to Zhongli District. So that's what we're going to do, and I will see you there. Okay, we have arrived right at the outskirts of Zhongli District. We have 35 minutes before we catch the bus that will take us to the beach, and the bus station is just right over there. So I'm gonna pop by a market that we are right next to, and I'm gonna grab some lunch. See you there. Alright, I just got lunch from a serve-your-own sushi stand. This is something I've seen a lot. It's like a little case of pre-made sushi. You can choose which ones you want and pay for them. And it's like 10 NTD a piece, so you can get 6 pieces of sushi for the equivalent of 2 US dollars. I'm not sure if it's a particular chain or if it's just a really common thing that there are a lot of different places doing it. Either way, it's very convenient, and the sushi is usually pretty tasty, so that is going to keep me pretty well fed. That said, we are going to make our way to the bus station as I eat. See you there. Also worth noting, as I devour this sushi, uh, the bike ride here took me 35 minutes, and once again, it did not cost me anything, because the rental bike service here is really darn incredible. So, uh, Zhongli District proper is another metropolitan sort of downtown district, uh, more to the west in Taiyuan City. There's actually a, a pretty big night market some ways in. I might swing by that on the way home from the beach if the weather permits. But for now, we're gonna find our bus and we are going to get settled. This is Yong'an Fishing Port. Uh, there are a lot of fishing ports like this uh, on the edges of the island. You'll find wet markets, you know, places to come and buy freshly caught fish, a lot of seafood restaurants using that fresh catch, and probably some beaches close by. And it's a very lovely place to be, even when it's kind of starting to drizzle like this. So you can kind of see the market through those windows. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find an entrance and we'll get inside and we'll take a look at the bounty.
I will say for the record, the smell in here is intense. So uh, do not go to a fish market like this unless your nose is prepared. Okay, we snagged a bit of freshly cut salmon sashimi, and that's gonna be a very nice midday snack. It's been a very seafood heavy day for me. My breakfast was a, a sushi roll from the convenience mart. Uh, my lunch was the sushi from the stand. And now I'm having a sashimi for a snack. But hey, as long as it tastes good, who am I to argue? Worth noting that the fresh stuff is a little pricier here. Uh, that this little tin of mine was 100 NTD, which is you know, a, a little pricey by Taiwan standards. But that's because it's caught fresh, it's all local, it's all delicious. That is some very good salmon, I gotta say. I'm not entirely sure what that little citrus fruit was that I squeezed on it. I want to say probably some sort of like tropical tiny lime, but I don't know exactly. Whatever it was, it was good though. Okay, we're back outside. We're slightly less hungry. Uh, it's still drizzling a bit, but I don't think it's gotten any worse since we went inside, which is a good sign. So for now, we're just playing things by ear. I'm gonna walk around a bit to the end of this fishing harbor, and we'll see what the weather is looking like. Wait, hold the phone. There's more buildings. Looks like there's more food. We gotta go inside. Uh, yes, we appear to have found the, the restaurant and food stall section of the market. Lucky us. Good thing I still have a bit of an appetite, so I'm gonna wander around and find what looks tasty. to turn all of my videos into food videos, but that is sort of how it happens, isn't it? All right, so we got some tasty looking fruit juice. You can see it has those same tiny little citrus fruits inside. Uh, I swear I will try to look up what these are called while I'm editing this video. That's good stuff. There's some sort of crunchiness inside. I think there may be, be like whole fruit chunks in there that my straw is sucking up. But yeah, this is basically a lemonade Taiwan style and I would not have it any other way. As for food, I stopped by a fish fry station. They have basically tons of different kinds of fried fish. You can choose which ones you want and they will fry them up and heat them up for you on the spot. First up, we got some soft shell crab pieces. You know what I love? You can still taste that it's crab, even after it's been battered and fried. It's not always a guarantee. Speaking of crab, next up we have a, what I'm pretty sure is a king crab stick. This is something else you see a lot of. You know, since king crab is really expensive, there's a lot of imitation king crab. And they're, you know, sort of bright neon red. At least before. They've been battered and fried. Mm. It's really good though. It's like quality imitation meat, if I had to say. Next up, tiny little fried shrimp. Again, it's it's sort of remarkable how I can still identify what kind of seafood it is, even with this this heavy, heavy batter on it. The, the, the flavors still come through really well. We also have, for a midnight snack, some shrimp crackers, which I'm sur sure you saw an insert shot of as I was browsing the market. Uh, I'm pretty sure these guys are seaweed flavor. I'm excited to find out. So, total cost so far, uh, sashimi was 100 NTD. Uh, the fish fry stuff is 60. The uh, 
citrus juice, 50. Then the shrimp crackers were 100. So, all together, so far that is 310 NTD that I have spent at this fish market. All very well worth it, I must say. Okay, I lied. We're getting one more food thing. It's this big fat seafood fritter pancake uh, with a little bit of spicy sauce on it. 40 NTD, which brings my current total up to 350, uh, which is pretty good for a weekend, especially a vacation y weekend like this one. Okay, it's far less seafoody and more of a scallion pancake type deal. I, take a look at this, it is just loaded with green stuff in there. I guess this counts as my vegetables for the day. Sorry, Mom. Okay, there is seafood in here. I'm setting a layer of, like, clams or some sort of other shellfish on the bottom level. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look there. Ow! I just dropped a bit of steaming hot scallion pancake on my bare leg. That was not fun. That was not fun at all. Yeah, you can get a better look here. There's definitely some sort of clam or mussel mixed in with all the green stuff. Yeah, close encounter with second degree leg burns aside. It was a very satisfying little pancake thing. I just spilled some on me again. So. <laughs> There's more. There's more market. It never ends. Okay, I am in the restaurant section of the market. Literally every single stall I pass by, people have called out and tried to get me to sit down. It's like, the, the, they see a, a foreigner here and they're like, ooh, money bags. This place really is incredible though. Uh, if I am hungrier later, I'm definitely coming back and I am gonna grab a place. For now though, we're heading back outside and we are in luck because it feels like the rain has stopped. So we're just gonna take a quick jump over this bridge then we're gonna hop on down to the beach while we still have this rainless weather. Hey everyone, Garrick from the future here. Uh, so I realized while I was editing this video that if I tried to put my whole trip into one video, it would be just so ridiculously long. It, it would be insane. So you're getting two videos out of my trip to Yongan Harbor. And you'll get this one this week, and you'll get the follow-up next week. Hope that's not too disappointing, but hey, there's a lot of fun stuff still to come, so I hope you enjoy. So for now, thank you once again for watching Taiwan Lao Wai. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, smash the bell, share with your friends, all that good stuff. And as always, I will see you next time. Zai Jian! Bye-bye!